hi guys welcome to my channel today we're gonna play the new age of empires we're just gonna do the first campaign mission or battle the 1066 battle of hastings so let's get right into it some events leave a deep mark on history but none on the land. This is the site of the Battle of Hastings. After almost a thousand years, no traces of the bloody conflict can be seen. But here, the fate of England turned. It's where a king was killed and his victor claimed the throne. October 14th, 1066. We know what happened here on this day, thanks to this. The Bayer Tapestry. A carefully preserved illustrated record of events. It shows the main players. Harold, the newly crowned Anglo-Saxon King of England. And his challenger, William. Duke of Normandy. William claimed the previous king had promised him the crown. So, he assembled an army and prepared to sail to England to fight King Harold for the throne. But a storm thwarted his plans. Meanwhile, Harold discovered that a Viking invasion had landed in the north another threat to his crown so he raced to fight them in france william waited for the right conditions to sail across the channel to england the weather cleared i really love this presentation it looks chance. very very good Two hundred and fifty miles north, Harold had defeated the Vikings. Now, hearing of William's arrival, his army sped south. At nine o'clock in the morning, on this hill, William's Norman army were ready to do battle with Harold's Anglo-Saxon men. The stage was set, and up for grabs, England itself. Okay, that, that was nice. I love how they presented it with a real video with the graphics of the soldiers and ships and everything. That looked very, very nice. On October 14, 1066, William of Normandy stood ready for battle at the base of a hill. The high ground belonged to King Harold of England and his Anglo-Saxon army. Here, on this hilltop, the fate of England would be decided. Okay, let's see. William's Norman army made the first charge, launching a direct assault on the shield wall. Not getting through there. Though William's army fought fiercely against the shield wall, it would not yield. As one man fell, another took his place. Overlapping shields in tight formation made for a near impenetrable barrier. Realizing his army could not break the shield wall, William called for a retreat. Retreat, guys, retreat. 
William's feigned retreat was working. The Anglo-Saxon army broke their shield wall formation, leaving gaps for William to make a move. There you go, there you go, Tarkoz. Almost at it again, use it. With Harold's men no longer in shield wall formation, William could pick them off as they charged. Yeah, looking good, winning this battle. The Anglo-Saxons had deployed rows of spearmen to push back the invaders, archers, archers. but William had an answer. His sharp-eyed archers. Let's go, guys. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. William pull back. Yeah, we're not doing a lot of damage against William. More Norman men at arms reinforced William's army. You guys attack, 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 attack. William, help your archers. Yeah, he's taking too much. Speed up. I was coming out this side. My whole Additional left Norman side has joined collapsed. Anglo-Saxon archers joined the fray, and the Normans' deadly cavalry ready to charge. But first, William's forces had to eliminate the enemy spearmen, okay, whose the sturdy spearmen, pole guys. arms could easily bring down a horse. Where's William? William, pull back. More reinforcements. Come on, guys. Kill the spearmen, kill the spearmen, guys. With the threat of spearmen there cleared you from go. the field. William's cavalry was free to charge at the Anglo-Saxon archers. Attack, guys. Attack, attack, attack. So William coming out. The Anglo-Saxon army was in disarray. Their shield wall had been neutralized and their numbers were dwindling. Now the only thing standing between William and victory was King Harold himself. Guys, can I slay the king? The last of Harold's men encircled their king, prepared to lay down their lives to save his. Attack him, guys, attack him. More reinforcements. Attack More Norman cavalrymen took to the field. Let's go, guys. Almost. Here we go. Kill the king, kill the king. There we go. The Anglo Saxon King Harold had fallen. In the confusion, some loyal soldiers fought to the death, while others scattered in panic.
Very nice, very nice, our first battle. Leaderless and defeated, the last of the Anglo-Saxon army fled for their lives. The Normans celebrated victory over the English king, but William's quest to rule England was just beginning. Ah, very nice, I liked it. Okay guys, so we finished the first battle, the Battle of Hastings. So in the next episode we'll do Battle 2 or part of the campaign 2. Thanks for watching guys, see you in the next one.